Welcome everyone, Kulfis here, and today we are gonna break down Ipogo and Mantis Pogo. Those are really hard tricks, so I will try my best to explain that in the clear, in a clear, in a clear way. Um, first off, if you are a beginner, I would suggest to go for the normal route, go to the bright door that is on the bottom right of this area here, and do the normal route. Because when you are a beginner, you really want to get in as many runs as possible. Even if you are like plus 10 minutes, plus 15 minutes, you just want to have as many runs as possible. What I'm doing right now is playing with this spore. And you should do that too to learn how to maneuver this spore so that later when we will play and use do Ipogo, uh, moving this spore as we want you'll know how this spore works and you will not be afraid of getting close to her. Uh, I'm This tutorial is for current patch, but you can do the same in 1 to 2 one. There are better ways to do that in 1 to 2 one because you can pogo the explosion in, in the older patch, here you can. So we found another way to do that. And... Um, we can pogo this spore when he has this animation that is green and is going to pop. That's the moment where we will, you see? We can pogo that in that moment. We can't pogo the explosion. That's basically what we're gonna do for this trick. Uh, I'm gonna make um, e pogo now and Mantis pogo in another video so that I can go into the, the details and that will be easier to find. Okay, so there are, I'm gonna show you Comfy Pogo and then just Panta Pogo, but I'm gonna break down Comfy Pogo. I'm gonna explain that as best as I can. Basically, uh, let me show you first, and then we're gonna see how that how to do that. Okay, I bumped on the wall, but on the ceiling. But basically, we wanna dash. Having two cast of fireballs. Oh, hold on, sorry. Uh, my apologies, Spotify advertisement. Anyway, um, we want to come here. I'm gonna show you now Comfy Poco with two cast of fireballs. I'm, I'm having a debug mode. If you don't have debug mode because you're on console, when you have to replenish your soul, I would suggest just go here. Those enemy respawns when you kill them and you exit and re-enter the room. Or you can, for example, um, kill those one, those one respawn too, basically. You can, you can replenish your soul, even without the dream nail here. Okay, with two casts of fireballs, we're gonna make this way of comfy pogo. Um, when this spore is here, where I am right now, when, when it's, when the spore will reach this position, more or less, so when it's between those two mushrooms in this gap, we're gonna dash on the left to this wall, okay? Then we're gonna let the knight fall down and we're gonna go a little bit on the right in this position and we're gonna fireball stall so the knight will stop and the fall speed will start again from zero. We will let the knight fall a little bit more, not too much. Uh, this is my setup, there are different setups. We're gonna let the fall fall a little bit more and then we're gonna dash to the right, under this ledge. I can't show you the hitbox because we don't have that in the bug mod for current patch, but we will find around here. We're gonna fireball again for air stalling. Meanwhile, the spore will have do something above on those lines without hitting the wall and we'll find a run here. If we pogo from here we might not be able to hit this spore. We might be but we might not. So we're gonna do a little shenanigans going on to the right just tapping right and pogoing right and as soon as we do that we're gonna go hold left and dash again. So Let's recap, we're here, spore reaches that this position, we dash to the left. We, we fall down and we go around here, fireball, 
dash on this side, fireball, pogo, dash again. And I'm gonna show you. So, dash, air stall, dash, air stall, pogo. Let me try to show you at slower speed. I don't know if I'll be able to. Because, trust me, it's harder to play at slower speed if you are used to play at normal speed because of muscle memory messed up. Let me try to show you. Dash, air stall. Uh, yeah, you see. Let me try again one more time, but otherwise, it, it, this is hard. If you need to play on slower speed to learn the trick, that's fine. But I'm telling you, you'll have to rebuild your muscular memory from scratch because you can play slowly to understand what's going on, but then you have to go at. Okay, done it. I was speaking slowly too. <laughs> I just realized. But yeah, then normal speed is the way to do to do it. I'm gonna show you one more time. Dash air stall fireball. And those stuff. Now I, I fall down too low. Um, that's why I messed up. Here I went too much on the right. I was probably able to go without doing the stuff. So yeah, this, this is what happens when you go from full speed to slower speed and then go back. You have you, your muscle memory is just freaked out. This is with two fireball. I'm gonna show you the, with you with the free fireball variants. Is easier, but you lose like few parts of seconds, like 0.2 for 0.3, gathering more souls. You can gather soul from the mushroom that are in the room um, after leg like, eater, or you can kill them with your nail. They are six nail hits. Of souls that are a lot and there is no shame at using this free fireball setup there is no shame at the time being on 27 of May uh, 2021 poem as the world record and uses a free fireball setup so there is no shame in doing that no shame at all but it is a little different what, happen, what changes is that we have to dash a little earlier because we will need more time with the fireball stalls. So we dash around here. When the spore is at the start of that mushroom, when uh, instead of dashing when the spore is here, we will dash when the spore is around there. This will make the difference between uh, the two and three fireball. Otherwise, it's pretty much similar. Spore is here. We dash to the left. We fall down. Fireball once. Dash to the right. Fireball twice. And at that point, we don't need to do the shenanigans and go a little bit on the right, but we just pogo normally and dash on the left. We don't need to do. I repeat, we don't need to do the this part going to the right. Okay. Let me show you. You see? It's way easier and I would suggest to learn this one if you are starting to. It doesn't lose that much time and is definitely uh, easier to learn. Now I'm not used to do that so I'm kinda messing that up a little bit but yeah I'm probably let me let me see okay now that works if you take damage don't even worry because we will be here at five souls five masks we will not take damage for the rest of the for the first part and will not ideally take damage later but we can we, we if we take damage that's not a problem so what happens if uh, let, let me sh try to show you these at slower speed i can't promise anything but let me try okay half of the speed oh okay, decided not to one ok 
Okay, now it's half of the speed. Let me try again. So, Spore is the start of the mushroom. We dash. Fireball. 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 Pogo. And then dash. Okay. So, basically, those are the comfy Pogo. And... It will take some time to learn. It will take some time, but will help. Again, if you are a beginner, I would suggest to do the right route through the bright door and then do get the Mantis Claw the normal way, uh, just because you want to get in as, much, as many runs as possible. Uh, basically, you don't want to reset a Tipogo, really. Now, Kulfi, what if we fail Ipogo? Are, are we like losing time? Uh, if you are a top runner, uh, definitely uh, you don't want to fail Ipogo, but you might want to learn a way to do Ipogo uh, without um, using Fireball. So, um, that is called uh, Panta Pogo. This is, that's not Comfy Pogo because harder and actually uh, yeah basically <laughs> basically pantapog is the way a lot of uh, current patch runner learned ipogo right now i'm keep messing it up this is not how you do ipogo by the way okay and pantapogo requires no fireball not hit of soul we will gather some because you know they're in the way but those are not required Oh yeah, there is another way to do Comfy Pogo, which is with one Fireball Hit of Soul. And But I'm not gonna cover that one because I'm not proficient with it. And you might say, Kulfi, you're not proficient even with this one, watching you keep failing. I'm just showcasing how hard this trick is. So if you're failing that, don't even worry. This trick is really hard. And so, Pantapogo. Basically, Pantapogo is um, requires more practice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop off the ledge once the spore reaches this part, like, like right here. Uh, you can't really see that. Okay, when the spore reaches this part, between the the, the black gap between these mushrooms up up above here we're gonna just walk off the ledge and drop around here more or less so we're gonna do this thing just we walk off the ledge around there okay this is the first part second part is when the spore reaches this notch this one we're gonna dash Pogo, dash, pogo, and then we're gonna be at the right high. But let me try to show that. I'm not gonna cover this too much because... Okay, this is Panta Pogo. You can take damage. If you, you can do the teeth less, but you don't really care because we have full health. You can do even a uh, um, V-Sync uh, trick. I don't really remember how to do that, but let me try that, like, once. So basically, uh, V-Sync um, makes the F... Uh, locks your FPS, and we're gonna damage tank this poor. We jump... Um, Pogo this poor, and then the explosion will send us upwards. And if you have a 60 FPS monitor, you can, or even if you're on console, you can do this trick, damage tanking this spore. My apologies, I don't really know how to do that. I, I actually learned Comfy po uh, Panta Pogo. Okay, there you have it. There you have it. Um, I wouldn't suggest this one. You can do that. It's pretty free once you know how to do that. But I would suggest to learn the this comfy pogo or the one with free fireball. And I would say that 
this covers pretty much everything you need to know for Ipogo. Oh, let me just show you the right way if you are a beginner. So you go this way, you lose like not even one minute or so if done correctly. And so um, you should go for this one if you are still learning in your runs. Then in practice, just go for in practice, learn Ipogo. Uh, otherwise, just um, just just go for this one at the start. There we are. Then we go up and stuff. But I'm gonna cover that in the second part of the video where we're gonna see Mantis Pogo. Because that's another hard trick that will complete uh, our Fungal Wasteland tricks for almost any sing every single uh, speedrun. Any percent, all skills, and those are basically the only ones that I remember that I play at the moment. So. Um, I think trending is different, I'm not sure though. But yeah, anyway, this is like the Ipogo. Hope that I really helped you. Um, I hope that I explained it in a good way. Probably there are people better than me at the game. I mean, definitely better than me at the game and probably better at explaining. So uh, feel free to ask anything in the comment section, in uh, hit me up on Discord, on Twitch, or... Um, hold on. Okay, again, advertisements on Spotify. So I was saying, basically, uh, I, I really hope that... If you, you can, if for any kind of help, or uh, how do you stuff, um, comment section is free, I will, I check that. Uh, usually uh, but you'd better find me on discord or twitch even the this you can if you prefer uh, asking that on the um, official discord the speedrun community is really open to help people there are a lot of guides um, and basically good luck have fun I think I said everything that I wanted to let me check quickly my notes. Yeah, I, I said everything, I guess. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for, for the time and remember to smile and have a great day. See ya.